So a common thing that you may want to do in your programs is check to see if something is a number. So we have an example of one of the previous if else blocks. Let me go into the code here. You can download the is a number AIA sample starter file if you want to follow along. Um, in the code blocks, we have it set up so when you click the button it clears the text and sets the background to white. And if the number is greater than zero, then we have it set to show the text was valid and change the background color. So what if instead of checking to see if it's greater than zero, we wanted to see if it's a number? And why would we want to do that? Let me show you what happens in the app when we put in something that isn't a number. So we'll put in a letter instead and then we'll tap go. All right, we get an error message and here's a better view of that message. So the operation and this is the ampersand GT semi means this is a greater than symbol. So that means greater than can accept the arguments A, which is what I typed in, uh, you will not see another error. So it, it, the message is kind of cryptic. Basically, the problem is we put in a letter where it was expecting a number to be able to do this comparison. So I'll show you a, a way to check to see if something is a number. And in the math block, if we scroll down, there is a block here that is, is a number. And a lot of different programming languages have some type of a function or the ability to determine whether a value is a number. So let's say if is a number, whatever is in the number input text box, we can say Let's just say we're looking for a number, so we'll say that it's valid. And again, we'll extend this to be an else block and say else, then if it's not a number, then we'll put a message in here that says that was not a number. And we'll duplicate the background here and also say change this to a red. So this will check to see if it is a number. So let's, without throwing the type of error message that you saw before. So for testing this, Right. I'll just leave the A in here and tap go and now we have captured the error ourselves and not let it get to where you have that cryptic error message that the user can't understand. So we'll say that was not a number. So then I can come in here and I can put in a valid number and say it was valid. I can come back and put in something that is Again, not a number, and get the message. So a quick way just to check to see if something is a number. That can come in pretty handy.